So with Battlefield Portal adding itself to the confirmed list of features for Battlefield 2042, the community just had an absolutely incredible response. For good reason though, this feature really just unlocks the sandbox of Battlefield and it gives so many opportunities to so many different audiences. I honestly had no concerns for this feature until this tweet popped up on my timeline and instantly I just started getting these BF5 flashbacks. Today's video is brought to you by Dragon City, the free-to-play mobile game available on iOS, Android, Windows, and Amazon, available right now from the link in the description. Dragon City is all about, as you can probably guess, dragons. Throughout the game, build your own floating islands filled with dragons which you can train and take into battle. Within the game, you can collect over 1,000 different dragons to build your own Dragon City. The game also has this whole component of breeding and creating new dragons, which you can evolve over time. Once you're done with all that, you can train those joints up, make them more powerful, and take them into battle. The rewards for this are great, and through battle you can make your dragons even more powerful again. There's also PvP modes that allow you to battle your friends and other dragon masters. The game also keeps it fresh with new content. Each week there's several events to play through, each bringing their own adventures. You've got Maze, Runner, Grid, and Heroic Race. Let me know which one is your favourite, mine is definitely Maze. Speaking of content, there's also a bunch of your favourite YouTubers actually in the game. Perhaps you recognize some of these guys. Before you get into the video, be sure to head down into the link in the description to download Dragon City and get an amazing free reward of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the rare Citadel Dragon. These will only be available for new users and for 7 days, so get in quick and don't miss your chance. If you're a mega OG on the channel, you might remember the BF5 days. I'd play it and stream it a fair bit, and once I returned to the game during late 2020 and 2021, Australia had no more official servers left, and what was left was a few community servers. Unfortunately, the two admins on these servers would pretty much ban anyone playing at above average level. And even going further, one of the servers actually had Silk as the clan tag, that was the little clan they had. And I still get DMs to this day on my Twitter of people asking to be unbanned from that server. It's funny because that's literally the server that barred me from playing the game. The catch in BF5 was that the bans were not permanent, they'd actually reset on a daily basis. So all of us gaming DGENs kind of figured out when this admin went to bed. It was about, you know, 10pm my time, 11pm. So we just stay up late, play the game without the admins abusing us. And that was fine. It really sucked having to do it like that. And I basically couldn't stream the game at all. But it's just how it was. Now this tweet here just came in though. And it's confirmed that the bans will be permanent unless the admin decides to unban. So that's great for servers with responsible admins with the intention of running a community well. But that's just not Battlefield 5 in Australia, and I feel like it's not Battlefield as a whole. Some of the most popular servers are ran by admins who literally create safe spaces for their communities. Free of anyone who's actually good at the game. Side rant incoming, but how soft is gaming these days? Me at my 20 years of age is going to sound like a boomer for this one, but back in my day you played the game and you learned from your losses. Some of my earliest gaming memories were actually grinding a 1v1 mode in Team Fortress 2, literally against some of the best players in the game. I was nowhere near their level, but it was really satisfying to actually improve every time I played. Exact same thing happened in BF4. I wanted to get good at Jets because I was getting dominated by Jets. So I joined this server, which is pretty much just Parasol 24-7, and I knew that all the best Jet pilots were always playing on the server. So by playing it, I got destroyed. Got destroyed a lot, but eventually I got better at the game, and it was really, really satisfying to go through that process. And that's something I actually look forward to whenever I play a new game. These days we have things like SBMM protecting games that are supposed to be casual, like Call of Duty. And then in Battlefield's case, we have admins that are almost forcing SBMM through bad admin practices. So yeah, rant over. Don't even try to hit me with the, make your own server then. It literally goes against the strong culture of creating safe spaces that we have in this region. So what did I do? I quit the game. There's nothing else I could do. Either I get banned on Australian servers within 30 minutes, or versus cheaters and Asian servers. There's literally no good solution to this, and it ruined the game for many of us, and honestly, I really, really love Battlefield, and I don't want this to happen again. I really, really don't want this to happen again. So obviously, we do need a solution, and we can kind of think of what it might look like. So firstly, the most obvious one for me is just for DICE to create a really great game with good player retention. This solves the issue entirely because you'll have servers everywhere. If you get banned from one, no biggie, just go to the next one. My concern is that in smaller regions, even smaller than Australia, for example, you won't have many servers to begin with, so you actually need more feature-driven solutions here. I actually retweeted the previous one with a comment, and I got some really great responses. And the first one to me is actually a no-brainer, which came from a good friend of mine, Fuzzy. 
So what he said here is that admins need a karma system or need to be monitored carefully within the smaller regions. Otherwise, the top OCE players will have a repeat of BF5 and will not be able to play the new title. Simple as that. All for perm bans, but banning someone for being too good is not a valid reason. 100% agree with this. It was a really, really big issue here. And it could be fixed so easily by adding a karma system so the bad admins get flagged out straight away. They don't want to risk their karma. They won't want to risk it. People on Reddit love that shit. And in Battlefield, I bet that the server providers want to be rated as highly as possible. So they're not going to mess around and ban people for no reason at all. If we're going to go a bit further here, we can also add the feature where if you do get banned for a non-legitimate reason, you might be able to report the admin and have it reviewed. That would create a lot more work for DICE and I do understand why they might not want to do that. But in extreme cases, it would be good if the admin is consistently making really bad decisions. They might be able to have their server permissions revoked. That is just another option there. Now, the other solution I like was actually suggested by none other than AKAR. He's also seen the worst of badmins, both through his Discord community and actual personal experiences. So he's actually suggested creating a Battlefield clan where we get the best community members to moderate it. It's actually a really good idea, absolute game changer in my opinion, and I hope something comes of this. The replies here are pretty wholesome too, and I've seen some OGs just responding saying that they're here for this and they'd be interested in it. I really hope that something develops out of this because it's just a really great idea. Just putting the power in the right people's hands can make all the difference sometimes. And just for real, we gotta support creators like this. Art consistently had his ear to the ground when it comes to community, and that's just flat out respectable for someone of his size. Anyways, those are a couple solutions to a problem we might not even encounter in BF2042. But I feel like this video just had to be made just out of the passion of the OC community. It really sucked having my streams ended after one out of play because I'd just be banned everywhere. Or even just playing with mates and having a good time and then having the session just totally split up because an admin was having a bad day and decided to pick us off. Before we wrap this one up, be sure to head down to the link in the description and download Dragon City to take advantage of these sick free rewards and get started on building your Dragon Island.